Good morning students, how are you all? Great, I am Khushbu Patel from Saraswati Group of Education welcoming you all in the session of science. Now kids, we have started with lesson number 4. Few topics we have understood in live lectures and few topics we have understood in the video lectures. So today we are going to start with the new topic. But before I start the new topic, we just have to recall one thing. That nervous system is consisting of three things. That is brain, spinal cord and nerves. About brain we have studied in the video lecture. About spinal cord we have studied in the live lecture. Right? With the spinal cord we have also studied about the nerves. So today we are moving further after that topic. So I hope you all are having your textbook. And if you don't have, please pause the video, go and bring your textbook. Okay. So in your textbook you have to open page number 46. Right. So today we are going to start with the reflex action. But before we understand the reflex action, the thing which is given on page number 46 that we have to cover the first. What is that? It's a spinal cord. Spinal cord is related with the brain or you can say that it is connected with brain. How? With medulla. About that we have studied. We have also studied about the three types of nerves. But before we understand the reflex action, it is compulsory for you all to understand the types of nerves and their functioning. So here if you will see that on the board I have written the types of nerves. There are three types of nerves. The first one is sensory nerves. Now, in our body we have five sense organs. Can you tell me? Yes. Eyes, nose, tongue, ears and the bigger one which is covering our entire body that is the skin. So, we have five sense organs. So, there are certain type of nerves which is connected with all these sensory organs. So, these nerves are known as sensory nerves. So, the messages which has been passed from this sensory organs to the brain or spinal cord, that nerves are known as sensory nerves. You can see here I have written sense organ, then arrow, then brain slash spinal cord. That means these nerves are passing the message from sense organ to brain or spinal cord. Right? What you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste or what you feel. Right? Then all type of the messages will be passed by sensory nerves. Right? So these nerves are passing message from sense organ to brain or spinal cord. Clear? Now coming to the next one. If we are passing message to someone, we also expect the reply. Right? So when the sense organ are passing the message to the brain or spinal cord, they also want a reply from brain or spinal cord. So which nerves are taking the reply from that organ? That nerve is motor nerves which is taking the message from brain or spinal cord to the different parts of the body. Then it may be a muscles, it may be a tissue, it may be an organ, right? So from brain or spinal cord, the message carrying nerves are known as motor nerves. So here if you will compare these two nerves, you will come to know that one type of nerve is passing message from organ to brain and the other type is passing the message from brain to organ. Right? Then we also have the third one. What is that? The third one is mixed nerves. That means the nerves which can burn both the side. Two way. Right? See, they can pass the message from brain or spinal cord to the organ. And even they can carry the message from organ to the brain or spinal cord. Right? So these three type of nerves are present all over the body which is helping us to feel, to test and to do many work. So these nerves are very much necessary. Right? 
Now, after taking the replay of these things, we are moving to the main topic of this chapter. But before that, if you want to take a photo of it, you can take it. So, in future, for your question answer, you can remember it easily. Okay kids, so now, after this, after the types of nerve, the next topic which is related to the nerves only and the name of that action is a reflex action. Now what do you mean by reflex action? Let me explain you first. Reflex action is also known as quick action. Now you may have a question that Didi what is the meaning of a quick action? Let me show you how. I cannot show it practically but we have explained and we have experienced these type of action in our regular life. Right? So this is the topic which is on page number 47 of your textbook. What is that? How do you feel it? Okay. So when any mosquito is biting you, immediately your hand will go in that direction. Right? If you are supposed to touch one object, if you will touch that object and you will feel that the object is hot, immediately you will take your hand back. You will pull back your hand. When you are passing on the road, and if you see, there is a dump here, dumping ground, and the smell is too bad, and you can't bear that bad smell, what will you do? Immediately you will uh, chalk your nose. Right? You will put your hand on your nose so you cannot breathe that, I mean, you cannot smell that foul smell. So this type of action where we don't require any type of the message from the brain, that action is considered as what? It is considered as quick action and in science term it is known as a reflex action. So you can remember the name or you can say the other name of the reflex action known as quick action. Now how this quick action working? In the previous section of the nerves we have studied that from the organ the messages has been passed to the brain or maybe to the spinal cord. So when you talk about the reflex action, right, that time the nerves are not passing message to the brain. Instead, they are passing message directly to the spinal cord. Right? So that all mechanism we have to understand. But as per your grade, only few topics are covered in a reflex action. Right? Slowly, steadily you will study about all these things till 10th standard. So you should have the basic knowledge in this grade. Right? So see on page number 47. Some of our actions are not controlled by brain, right? Many of the action which is quick or you can say it is done less time, in a less time. So it is not controlled by the brain. Then who is controlling this action? These actions are controlled by spinal cord, right? For example, if your hand accidentally touches a hot container, you pull back your hand immediately. Yes. Right, suppose something is kept on the gas stove. Gas stove is off. Right, the burner is off. You feel that this utensil, just because gas is off, the utensil which is kept on the gas burner will not be hot. Right? Unknowingly, you are trying to pull that. You are trying to lift that. And you feel that it is too much hot. What will you do? Immediately you will put that uh, utensils and you will pull back your hand. Right? You will not wait for your brain to give instruction. So what is this action known as? This action is known as reflex action. Quick action. If I will give you a simple example. If you are in a one street. Right? Unknown street. And the dogs will come. Dogs will run behind you. What will you do? You will wait for your brain to give instruction that no, now you have to run. Immediately you will start running. So what is that action? Yes, it is a reflex action or you can say it is a quick action. Right? Now how does it work? How does this happen? When the container is touched by your hand, 
the sensory nerves pass a message to the spinal cord that the container is hot we know that entire body is covered with a one layer what is that layer of that is a skin layer right and skin is one type of a sense organ right or you can say it is a sensory organ so with that sensory organs which type of a nerves will be joined yes sensory nerves right so when you touch the hot object the sensory nerves of your hand will pass the message to the spinal cord that the container is hot right then what will happen this message is not passed on to the brain as it would take a little more time right spinal cord and brain are connected with each other through medulla but spinal cord is beginner size as compared to brain right so if the message has been passed to the spinal cord it will give you quick instruction but what if it will pass that message to the brain and then brain will pass the message to the spinal cord it will take some more time right so till that time we cannot hold the hot object so it's better to take your hand back right so spinal cord will give the instruction that yes the container is hot and you have to pull back your hand right instead the spinal cord sends back a message to the hand through the motor nerves to pull back immediately if you will see in your textbook a one picture is given one sensory organ is passing the message to the spinal cord and in reply spinal cord is passing that message to the sensory organs but with which type of nerve motor nerve message will go through the sensory nerve and reply will come through the motor nerve so this way vice versa you can see simultaneously messages are being sent and it is being received clear the spinal cord sends back a message to the hand through motor nerves that sorry to pull back immediately such an automatic and quick action of the body is called reflex action underline this automatic and quick action of the body will known as reflex action and so only the other name of the reflex action is quick action right reflex action are controlled by the spinal cord these also you have to understand and please underline this that reflex action are not controlled by the brain but it is controlled by the spinal cord because the spinal cord is passing the message in a less time right watering of mouth on smelling a pleasant food aroma and sneezing when nose is irritated are some examples of reflex action when you see any kind of dishes right in the hotel or maybe when you are passing uh, to the street and you see the street food you will, your mouth will start watering so you cannot control there is no tap that you will switch off the tap tap and the water will be closed what there will be no water no it is uncontrollable by the brain your mouth will have a water automatically so this automatic action is what reflex action when there is a irritation in your nose you start sneezing so what is that action so that is known as reflex action clear so this was about the reflex action now kids we are going to see a one small video related to the reflex action so you can understand this mechanism carefully and better so let us start the reflex action arnav and riya be careful there's hot porridge on the table Ow! just like arnav and riya how many times have we not acted quickly and saved ourselves from getting hurt Did you know that we are able to do so involuntarily without thinking In the following module we will learn more about involuntary actions called reflexes Withdrawing limbs when we touch hot or sharp objects 
closing of eyelids and other such involuntary actions are called reflexes. Reflex actions protect the body from dangerous situations or objects before they hurt us. The source of pain or danger is called the stimulus. The rapid and automatic response we make to a stimulus is the reflex action. It is therefore a response that is given without thought or control. Here are some instances of reflex actions. Coughing Yawning Hiccuping Watering of mouth Blinking of eyes Withdrawing or jerking of limbs Let us understand how a reflex action is synchronized or coordinated in the body. Here, heat from the flame of the candle is the stimulus. The danger of getting burnt is sensed by the thermal receptors in the hand which trigger an impulse in the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron transmits the message to the spinal cord. From here, the impulse is passed on to a relay neuron. The relay neuron relays the impulse to a motor neuron. The motor neuron passes the impulse to a muscle in the arm. The arm contracts and is withdrawn from the stimulus, the flame. In a reflex action, the message travels to and fro the site of possible injury and spinal cord within a split second. Okay kids, so as we have completed watching the video related to the reflex action, now we are moving further to the next topic. Now, next all topics are related to the sense organs. We know that there are five sense organs present in our body. So today, from that five sense organ, we are going to study about the one sense organ which allow us to see. Can you tell me that uh, due to which organ we can able to see? Yes, you are right. It is eye. Right? So the human eye. As you can see that I have drawn the structure of the human eye over here. And in your textbook also, the diagram of the human eye is given. Right? When you see anyone's eye, you feel that it is oval in a shape, actually like a rugby ball. But actually, it is round in a shape. Where the eye is located, if I will ask this question, immediately you will answer me that the eye is located on the face. Right? But this face is made up of one type of, you can say many type of bones, skull, right? So here there is a empty space which is known as a cavity in which the eye is fixed, which have the capacity of vision. We can see through eye. It also has certain parts. So that all parts we will cover here in the eye. Right? Okay. So open page number 48. Sense organs. We have five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. We all know that. They help us to sense our surroundings. Whatever the things are going on in our surroundings, we can sense it. These sense organs allow us to see, to hear, to smell, to taste and to feel. Right? So, the first one we will study that is the eye. You can see here the diagram. 
because you also have to practice this diagram you have to learn this diagram okay so see eyes gives us the sense of vision we can see it. right now you can see me right that is due to what due to your eyes right so it gives us sense of vision they help us to see the world around us god has given us beautiful world beautiful earth right so we can see that beautiful things in the world that is because of our eyes just imagine when you are playing right blindfolded can you able to see anything no how do you feel you feel zero right so eyes are the most important organs of our body actually all organs are important but through eyes we can see we can identify the object we can identify the colors most importantly right we can see this beautiful world because of eye so we have to take care of it first we will see the parts of the eye each eye consists of an eyeball which is located in a hollow cavity of the skull called orbit this part if you will touch this part it is hard but if you will see that where the eye is located don't press it too hard but if you will press it slightly you will feel that it is a hollow cavity cavity means empty space in which eye is fixed right and these area where the eye is fixed that is known as a orbit of the skull right the eyeball is filled with a fluid that protects the eye from shocks and minor jerk right you can see that the eye is having a liquid how just stretch your eyelid a bit put your fingers inside your eye for 2 second and then you will feel that something liquid is there it's a protective liquid which is protecting our eye from minor jerk right that eyes do not get dry due to this and shock shocks not electric shock but the shock of dust right straws and all things the eyelid and the eyelashes protect the eyeball from the dust what is eyelid the cover of the eye this when you close your eye the cover of the eye is protecting your eye so this cover is known as eyelid the hairs are present on the surface of the eyelid edges of the eyelid this one these are known as eyelashes right so what is the main function of the eyelid and the eyelashes eyelid and eyelashes are protecting the eye so that the dust and anything else will not enter to your eye as eye is considered as the most delicate organ right the circular transparent area in the front of the eye is called cornea right this is the cornea the transparent part which you cannot see actually because it is a transparent these which is protecting the eye so these area is known as what cornea see student in science you will not have any kind of a uh, english uh, word right these all are considered as the uh, medical terms or science terms so you have to remember as it is only so these transparent part which is covering the eye is known as cornea right it receives light and send it to the inner part of the eye right it receives the light what is the main function of the cornea it receives the light we can see but only if there is a light can you able to see in a dark if i will put you in a one dark room where there is no electric light where there is no sunlight total dark will you able to see all the your eyes are functioning well but still you can't able to see because there is zero light so we can see the things and the object or the person or anything else because of the light so the main function of the cornea is to collect the light from the entire surroundings and then it will send it into the inner part 
right? Where it will send? It will send to the eyeball. That will come here right now. It receives light and send it to the inner part of the eye. The round colored part is iris. Iris. Now, if you want to remember iris in a simple language, you can see. I'm sorry. You can say iris is eyeball. Right. So this is our eye. From outside, we see our eye like this. This is iris. Okay. These are cornea. Okay. And here in the center of the iris, there will be one hole. Or uh, it's not actually hole, but it's a small circle which allow the light to enter the inner part of our eye, so that we can see the things clearly. See, iris, eyeball. Right? People have different color of eyes because iris can contain different color pigment. Mostly in India, you will find that the people are having a black color eyeball. But yes, there are some celebrities and celebrity kids which are having a different color of eyes. Maybe green, maybe blue, maybe brown, maybe grey. Yes, people do have different color eyeball due to the color pigment. Right? That's the different theory of the human body. That why do they have the different color eyeball? It's a very long and very complicated theory. You will study, but in a higher grade. Right now, in this grade, you just need to remember that every people, mostly in India, will have the black color eyeball. But sometimes, some people are having different color of the eyeball. That is due to the color pigment. The iris has an opening in the center called pupil. This one. Here I have written, but you won't be able to understand these. This is known as pupil, which controls the amount of light. Right? We know that the cornea is collecting the light, but how much amount of light is needed for your eye to see? That will be decided by what pupil. And where the pupil is located in the center of our eyeball. You can see, just uh, stretch your eyelid like this. Go near the mirror and try to see the pupil at home. Right? Light enters the eye through the pupil. We know. At the back of the eye, the image is formed on retina. Now light will enter through the pupil. And some object is over here. Suppose you are looking right now at tree. So from this tree, light will enter to your cornea, then it will enter to, to your pupil, and then the image of it will fall on what? It will fall on retina, right? But that will be ulta. But right now you just remember like this. So what do you see? The image formation will be there on retina. Retina is also known as mirror of the eye. You know what is the meaning of mirror? When you see any of the object or uh, just when you see inside the mirror, when you are standing in front of the mirror, you can see your image inside the mirror. Same way, when some object is kept in front of your eye, so that object's image will fall on what? On retina. And what is retina? It is mirror of the eye. Right? So you can easily identify that which object is there in front of your eye. Right? So, image formation will be there on retina, which is also known as mirror. Clear? The optic nerve connects the eye to the brain. You can see these nerves, right? All these things are connected with the nerves. And these nerves are known as optic nerve. And which is connected with what? It is connected with the brain. So, optic nerve will take the uh, message from eye to the brain and brain will identify that which object is there or which person is there standing in front of you right so this way we can able to see and identify the object or person with the help of eye and we know that eye is a sensory organ so which nerve will take the message from eye to the brain sensory nerves right Okay, see here. Messages from the retina pass to the brain through the optic nerve. Right? 
messages will be carried uh, with the help of an optic nerve and it will pass to the brain again brain will identify and it will pass back the message to the eye through this optic nerve so this way the entire eye is working still there are so many functions you need to understand in the human eye but not actually in this brain in a higher brain right so i hope you have understood these eye and all these parts you have to learn this diagram right now we are going to see again a one short video which is related to the parts of the human eye right so let's start it okay students so here you can see the structure of eye from outside it looks like a rugby ball oval in a shape but actually it is round in a shape see this is the 3d structure of the human eye this is the way how eye is connected from inside now we are going to see the label right as we have seen in the video lecture also but here also right anterior means front portion where you can see the cornea and pupil pupil is the center part of the cornea which controls the amount of light right this is the half anterior portion this is the lateral portion back side portion where you can see a retina which is also known as the mirror of the eye where the reflection of any images are falling and we can identify that images right this is the lateral portion and here you can see the optic nerve optic nerve is connected with the brain which is helping us in identifying the objects the person the colors and many more things right and this is the posterior part where you can see the lens as well as the optic nerve right so this was the label of the eye now moving towards to the section right these are the sections sections means how the eye is divided into different parts right you can see here cornea you can see here cornea aquaceous humor suspensory ligament optic nerve and and vitreous humor right so this was the part of eye now as we have completed watching this video also i'm ending my session today over here i hope you have enjoyed the session and you have understood that is most important enjoying is the different thing but understanding is the most important thing right so whatever the topic which we have covered today you are going to read it again at your home from your textbook and for any query you will go through this video again we'll meet next time with a new topic till that time i'm taking your leave stay safe bye bye